welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing really well today I'm going to be doing an updated £10 makeup challenge I've bought all the products from Poundland's makeup range which is called Makeup Gallery I've been wanting to try loads of their products for ages I've been using their bronzer for quite a few months and I really like that so this is the look I'll show you guys me applying it and yeah um, I also review the products a little bit um, but at the end of the day I don't really know what I'm talking about I don't know a lot about makeup so yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoy the updated £10 makeup challenge okay so the first thing that I want to just point out is that when I bought the makeup the foundation specifically I didn't have any fake tan on and I'm generally very pale um, today I have fake tan on so I might look a bit like a ghost with this particular foundation but it's fine <laughs> Um, I actually have 11 products, I'm going to take out one because I bought a blusher and I generally don't wear blusher and I already had a bronzer from this range so I thought I would just use the bronzer instead of the blusher so I now have 10 products. In my last um, £10 makeup challenge I got called a cheater because I used brushes. Um, I've seen other people use brushes before, I hate doing foundation with my fingers so I'm using brushes. Call me a cheat, I don't really care. I have nothing on my face, I have no moisturiser, no primer, all I have on is fake tan, so. Okay. This is the Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation in the shade Ivory 1. Taking that top off, putting a little dollop on a real, that's a big dollop, didn't mean to do that much. <laughs> Let me put a bit on my hand. Um, real Techniques. Expert face, expert face brush. It's not very full coverage, so I'm going to go in for another few dabs. I like a nice flawless finish with my foundation. I'm just going to switch brushes to the Zoe Vart Silk Finish Face Brush. I've tried some pretty awful foundations in the past and this is not that bad at all. Um, it's not massively full coverage, it's not covering up my blotchy face that I've got at the moment, but um, it's, it's fine and it's not as pale as I thought it was going to be, which probably isn't a good thing if you buy it because you're pale, but um, yeah, not too bad. Especially if you're on a budget, it's really not bad at all. Okay. I'm just going to wipe that dog off my hand. I'm going to go with some concealer. I'm not a massive fan of um, twisty concealers like this. This is the Hide and Chic Concealer in the shade Ivory 1 again. Um, I am just going to put this under my eyes and any other places. I really, I'm really not a fan of this kind of concealer. It's never really worked for me, but I suppose everyone is different. It hasn't concealed my dark circles, but at the same time, no concealer does that, so I can't expect a pound store one to do it. So I don't really have a lot to say about it. Any makeup I don't like, I'm just going to give to my sister, and I think that will probably be one of the things. I'm going to give it to my sister. Okay, now I'm going to powder. I got the Smoothly, I like the names, Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder in Sand 4. I'm going to take a big old brush. I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush to just dust this on my face. Now I'm going to bronze my face. Um, I've been using this bronzer for a few months now, so I can always already give you an opinion on it. I've used this a lot. I really, really like it. Always blend my bronzer in because I don't like how it looks, so I always blend it with my Zoeva brush. I accidentally bought an eyeliner instead of an eyebrow pencil, but it is brown, so I'm going to give it a go. I think I did this in my last £10 makeup challenge as well, so um, yeah, I really like the packaging on these. They feel really expensive and they feel chic, so this is um, 
Colmy Beautiful in the shade, shade Brown 4. And I'm just going to really lightly line my, uh, line my brows, do my brows with this because I normally don't use a pencil, so I'm not that great at using a pencil. Fill my brows in really, really lightly because, like I said, I'm not that confident with a pencil. Um, as that fun, uh, concealer is so light, I'm going to just highlight a little bit under my brow bone with it. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I've got these two singular eyeshadows. I've got Pink Champagne here and Pink, well, Pink Champagne 4 and Mocha 8 here. I'm going to start by getting any excess of this brush and I'm going to dust Pink Champagne over my lid. Really pretty shimmery colour, I like that. Okay, so that's Pink Champagne. And I'm going to then take um, Mocha 8. That's pretty. And I'm just going to put that kind of on the outside, blend it out. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that's eyeshadow done. They're both really, really pretty colours. I'm really impressed with that. And they're pretty pigmented as well. I'm going to use that brown eyeliner and line my eyes with it. Now I'm going to do some mascara. This is the Plump Up the Volume Mascara. Not the best mascara I've ever used, but it's definitely worth a pound for sure. The last stage is lips. I've got a lip pencil powder out in the shade Nude One, and I've got All About the Pout Color Moisture Lipstick in the shade Perfectly Nude One. Lips are really dry as well, but I won't use lip balm because that is cheating. This isn't very pigmented at all, it's not really showing up. Okay, that worked. I um, lit the end with a lighter to warm it up and it's working much better now. Just make sure you don't use it immediately after putting it on the lights, I'll leave it for a few seconds. It's still not the best um, lip liner I've ever used though. so that is my finished makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave a comment down below if you've tried the poundland makeup range and what products you like from it if you have i'll leave a link to last year's um 10 pound makeup challenge down in the description um so you can compare see what they're like and i feel like i had other stuff to say but i can't quite remember because my battery's flashing and i need to wrap it up so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye